welcome back to the show. I'm Ryan Reese, and you're now playing the Bevel's Advocate. This is a Kendama podcast, if you didn't already know that. And uh, the co-host of that Kendama podcast uh, really likes Red Bull. And uh, <laughs> I'm sliding in on that now that Max Norcross has moved in another direction towards a different. He used energy to be drink. the Red Bull guy. I remember I, he came to a jam in Florida, and um, all the kids wanted to drink Red Bull, and he l- literally had to like go everybody. Don't drink Red Bull. Drink water. Drink water. <laughs> and I just remember laughing like, wow. Meanwhile, he, he had like a, a Red Bull in his hand as he was like yeah, saying do it. This. But but yeah. So yeah. so do you like um do you like need energy or do you like coffee? Why do you like Red Bull? Uh yeah, I'm a Oh, you're sponsored like by energy. Red Bull. I forgot. Yeah. yeah, well, like I said, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm like sort of like the B grade uh max norcross so now that he's moved into it in another direction i can now i can safely slide into that well you're uh, max norcrocks <laughs> i got him on are right you now, wearing dude. crocs right now hell yeah <laughs> oh those are beautiful light blue. Yeah, oh isaac's light here blue. isaac oh I right I you. we were getting uh, <laughs> uh well I, I forgot we were still introducing i forgot you were here actually i'm so sorry, sorry. but um i was uh, gonna all, talk about the crocs also with That's us fine. tonight is um isaac turner the owner of uh, Lotus Kendamas. Isaac, uh, thanks for coming on to the uh, podcast. Happy to be here. Lotus Kendamas, huh? Lotus Kendamas. <laughs> Lotus. I mean, that's it. How old is the company? Uh, our first drop was NAKO last year. So wow. I was there. Do you remember? We remember? Yeah, we talked the the first night. Um, at the sweets shop, remember? I, right. I like we talked. Uh, we had a good conversation. Right. What did we talk about? I don't remember what we talked about. I remember meeting you, and I was yeah. meeting so many people that night. But do you remember what we talked about at all? We talked about your idea with um. You wanted to make honed about the community more than about being the best. Yes. Being, being about the the tricks it's it's less about the tricks more about the people yes it's not all about the tricks yeah not all about the tricks do you agree um, with that or yeah, did you sure. did well did you agree with that at the at the party yeah i did and i, I still do because <laughs> now's your chance to change the narrative of what i remember so no, no, but, uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but cool no, no no yeah i mean so i was i was gonna say like um with lotus uh you you have like a team and everything right yeah yeah so we t- have, um, tell me about the team so france and mars is the first team member um he joined i want to say earlier in the year i forget exactly when he joined and then our newest member um is luke ford who came out with an edit uh he, he was he came out in a ko this year so luke's really good He's really good. He he's like the experienced historical player, you know. Yeah. So I'm really happy to have him. He's such a nice guy too. He podiums a lot. He does. He put, he got fourth at NAK. He didn't podium then, but um, he's uh he did really well at the Battle of Seattle like way back in the day. He he's been in the game for a long time. Um, extremely talented. And uh, where is he yeah. from? Uh, he's living in. He's from um. I don't know what city in Washington. Okay, so uh, I have. Did, yeah, I was gonna did, say. Did, did he podium by any chance at Van Jam? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because usually the Washington people go up to Vancouver for that, and I feel like I remember some some honed article I put together about the the contest results of Van Jam, or it might have been. Uh, that might not have been Battle in Seattle, was it? I don't think so, because I think Battle in Seattle was for like two years. It was like 2012, 2013 or something. And it, no, you know, that's it's the way worst, back. Like, that was way back. Yeah, it's worth saying saying things that you think are correct because everybody, as they watch this, can just see that I'm wrong. You know? <laughs> yeah. And welcome so to my world. To right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Um, no, I should know. I just, like, like I said, I. I um, I can go through, I need, that's the thing. The show needs somebody like behind the computer right here being like, all right, look that up. And, uh, I, see, tra- uh, I tracked most events and most podiums the last 10 years of Kiyama. Yeah. I have like, I have like uh, 20 that are tracked 
and I want to post it at one point. I posted on Facebook at one point. Yeah. So okay. So you have Luke Ford. Is is who are the other members? Uh, me. Yeah. You. I was gonna say you even can... on your website, I think it just lists uh, you and and Frantz and Mars, right? Does it even have Luke Ford on the website yet? No. Thanks, Tony. I need to get. <laughs> so what's going Listen, on with I, that? I did a little bit of little so, uh, so is that all for instagram or the website's just for selling the kendamas isn't it yeah <laughs> yeah no i mean the website's for wait what, what do you mean no I, I know like so okay you you announced these new team members and uh where did you you only announce them on social media and not on your website yeah. no i don't yeah i mean the website i feel like as of now um, the community lies on Instagram. You guys know that. So I, everything that I need to post, anything that I need to tell the community, I'll post to Instagram. The website I use for uh, selling the kendamas and for basic info stuff, but um, I'm definitely looking to, to turn the website into something bigger with like about us and videos and everything. Right, right. So what do you plan to do with the, the, the team? What is the uh, goal with Lotus's Kendama team? I mean, so like you, you send them product and they represent the brand and what do you expect out of them? Good question. Uh, we go through this, if I would ever to add anybody or if we would ever add anybody to the team, um, we would, I, first friends and Luke, I've, we, we sat down and we really like one of our expectations um, it's better to be, to be clear about everything, but I, when I like ask for a player to be in my team, um, uh, it's because what they're doing now is, uh, is all good. So a lot of it's just keep doing what you're doing. You know, um, I don't, I'm not about, Hey, you know, you didn't post on Instagram in three months. What's going on? Like, I think the the basic, the very first expectation is to be in love with Kendama. Um, if you're not in love with Kendama, then there's a, then obviously that's something that you would need to talk about because you're on a Kendama team. Um, but other than that, like I tell my team, like there's going to be times where you're going to post on Instagram a lot. You're, you're going to be really motivated by tricks and you're going to be doing well in competitions. And there's times that you play a few times, a few days a week. Uh, you aren't that motivated. You still love Konami, not that motivated, but um, you know, you're on the Lotus team for a reason. And so it's all about the waves of in and out. And um, yeah. No, I see that. I think that's a great way to look at it. I mean, um, yeah. So, so people, you know, right, right, right. Yeah, it's very realistic. I mean, even I go through that with posting in general yeah so why do you think that kind of stuff is important i mean obviously you know you recognize that they're people but do you do anything ever to like motivate them because you want them to be the best right i mean yeah I they're on the, they're on the team because you know they they love kendama i mean that's a that's obvious but yeah. uh when it comes to like uh you know, what I, what I asked about, like, uh, what do you expect from them? Are you looking for like tournament wins? Like what if mm -hmm. one of these players, uh, uh, podiumed at NAKO and they did it all on a Lotus? I mean, uh, yeah, is that the kind of stuff that you're looking for. Uh, that's huge. You know, like that's, that's awesome. Um, and obviously I'd be hyped about that. Uh, but I think what you're kind of talking about is like, you know, how much do you push them? How much do you motivate them? And for me, my true intention, like I'm, in, I love Kendama um, and, you know, I build Lotus and build this company on the love for the community and the love for Kendama as a toy, as a game. Um, and so I think that if I have a, if I have a real positive intention of loving this game, um, then everything that I do, you know, in terms of motivation, in terms of pushing, that's coming from my love of, of this game. So like if I were ever to be somebody who would love money or love selling Kendamas more, then that's where issues happen because that's when players of that team, I'm not saying this has happened before, but you can imagine like even like a company or a corporate type thing, like they, you're, you're just being pushed 
to make more money for me or make more money for your boss. And that's not positive. Like that's not fulfilling and it's, it's a uh, easy way to get burnt out. So um, yeah, you know, it, like I can't go over specific context situations where I should push a player to, to post more. Or I shouldn't post a player to post, post more, but I yeah. just, these, these guys are my best friends. Franta and Luke are my best friends. Right. So I talk to them as Isaac would talk to them. And I right. play Konami with them as Isaac would well, play. Well, like you mentioned, it, it's kind of like, um, you know, like you're, you're speaking in vague terms, but if you have some context for it, like I went through a lull with Kendama where I wasn't paying too much attention and stuff. And then when I started again, uh, Franta was one of the people that I followed on Instagram kind of early on. And like, yeah. I still keep watching the shit he posts. I'm like, this is sick. Like everything yeah. he posts is dope. And I get really bored, honestly, if I'm just being honest with a, a lot of the stuff that a lot of people post for whatever reason, it, it might be cool tricks. I don't know. It just gets fucking boring and I get sick of looking at it, yeah. but I haven't really had that happen with him. So I feel like, like I said, given the context, you kind of get what you mean more. It's like, if you've seen this dude's page, then you know what you mean. Like he kind of, yeah. he's kind of just entertaining to watch when doing whatever he does. Like he posts sweet yeah. tricks and, well, let me ask you, <laughs> let me ask you guys this then. So do you think, you know, Tony, you as a player and kind of as a, a you know, community spectator, and then uh, Isaac, you as the company owner uh, and, and team manager, it sounds like you also are. Uh, do you think it's more important for a team player to have uh, like, um, uh, I don't want to say robotic ability, but like win contests all the time, or is it better for them to have like a, like a style and be more yeah. recognized for the style? What do you think? Uh, well, for me, it's not necessarily a, a style. I think it's definitely not about being the best for me or, or particularly being like robotically consistent. You know what I mean? Like someone who's just killing it all the time. Like that doesn't, it's sick, but like, that's not something I expect from a player that I enjoy watching. But it's also, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a, a clear, refined style. It's just like if in general, the kinds of things that you're doing are are just, you know, something I find entertaining. Like Tony, I don't know if you know this, but um, Isaac here actually was at Dama to the Death 3. Did you know that? You mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, you, he was you a champ. He stayed with Marley, he right? with Yes, he stayed with Marley. Marley That's exactly. right, right, right. And uh, he's the champ. The day of, uh, the you were event. the unburned one. <laughs> the unburdened. The unburned. Un <laughs> the, the he whose dama was not burned. No, Isaac's dama was your your dama. Oh, my dama was burned. Yeah, was yeah. No, he you not Zach. Okay. Uh, not okay. Zach. Yeah, that, that's who actually won the who who yeah, won see, the last one. Zach. Well, yeah, it was Zach. Zach. He, he won the freestyle. There was a Ken tournament too, in which Troy. Yeah, won. but the Ken wasn't. Yeah, the Ken was. Uh, who won the Ken tournament? That was Troy. Troy, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah. Okay. All right, but uh, anyway. yes, Isaac was there, and he was a champ, but not the champ. Yes, I didn't say he yeah. was the champ. He was a champ because he <laughs> helped out on the day of with uh, Ken matches. Uh. So he was one of the few people who stepped up to the plate when we were designing the Ken games. There was actually a lot that went into that. People were really uptight about rules and specifications yeah. and all this. The, and the we people, really had to think the it The people through. who wanted to compete, you mean? People who were going to compete. And we all, or we already had two years of um, feedback behind on our, under <laughs> our belt. And so uh, the first two years were very vague of what, you know, was going to happen. And people are going to be burning their kendamas. They want to know the rules. So um, <laughs> we tried to make it as crystal clear as possible. So, uh, Isaac, I wanted to ask you, what was it like uh, refereeing those matches? How, uh, you did a lot. How many do you think you I did? did a lot? I did a few games. Yeah. Um, dude, I had a blast. It's hard for me not to, like, just, just watch instead of – you have to pay attention to, like – how clean the trick is. So a few times, you know, I got distracted, um, but it was, a uh, it was so fun, you know, and it was, it was a fun position to be in to actually watch matches um, instead of just like either being playing or being a spectator to like ref and actually look how clean they are and everything. Um, You're kind of more in the zone than usual going to an event. Yeah. It helped, it helped me with 
uh, I'm a, I like I like competition with Kendama. Um, that's one thing that I do really like, and uh, I think it helped me with with uh, my performance and and just kind of like seeing it from different side, you know. You also played in the contest, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, freestyle. Uh, what happened there? I think I lost second round to uh, Alex Mitchell. Yeah. Um, oh dang, there was a lot of people there, huh? Well, I mean, oh I know- yeah. Oh, numerically like, yeah. there was a lot we of talked people, about lot it of... in one of the previous episodes i said almost 100 well, no that's what i mean i know that oh but like actual people that you recognize the real people right figures right nobody exactly. else matters it's only the actual people that you know the names of <laughs> right right okay <laughs> chuck the rest of them in the trash then, then there was like probably seven or eight yeah uh <laughs> Alex and Mitchell I- isaac was one of them i will say that uh, i was very oh, happy yeah, to you. uh and that's the thing we wouldn't um or i shouldn't say we but marley wouldn't just host anybody he doesn't even let me sleep over so oh. <laughs> uh i would i'm i was surprised that uh he hooked you up he must have really trusted you and uh how was that how does i that's the thing i never been at i never i've been at his house late before but i never slept at his house i mean like seen it maybe he was just where did you did you ever see him naked or anything no not naked only, only um, a few times just a hand always always clothed um yeah damn it <laughs> it was pretty normal it was pretty cool like did you uh, eat breakfast with him or anything no no breakfast we you know what at an event you didn't shower together or anything? no showering together mm. no it, um, it, it's cold at his house I what did you that. do <laughs> so when you guys were cuddling like when yeah. you turned over and you did, i mean what do you guys talk about in bed it gets cold in florida yeah no um <laughs> I'm, I'm actually trying to think of where i i can picture his house um what did i sleep oh yeah the couch like there's a sunroom it was like a fold-out then, couch uh, yeah that was yeah, my fold-out old, couch. that was my old couch actually and he, really? he doesn't let me sleep on it it barely fit two of us it was small yeah <laughs> I'm the sun starts going down and marley starts like right every couple minutes he's eyeballing the door like checking his watch so Ryan's here um, pretty late. You, don't, you only <laughs> stayed. You stayed two nights there, or one? Uh, one. And then I left the day of the event. There's only one flight back to DC. That's right. I remember you left. Like you left a little early. No, you left. You stayed. Did you stay for the whole event? I didn't stay for the the burning. So I don't even know if I technically went to the event. Oh wow! Wow! You just the came, wow! You you're the the rebel the referee who traveled the furthest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I, like yeah, I said, I appreciate it, but but cool. Yeah. So I mean, I'm happy. It sounds like you enjoyed the event, though. So I mean, uh, you didn't get yeah, no. like, coronavirus or anything, did you? I don't think so. I've always had a strong immune system, and um, well, Marley was telling me that you were coughing a bunch when you, while you were sleeping, and so he was oh, right really? next to you, so he just got concerned. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I was coughing a lot. Okay, okay. Um, well, I think, yeah, think it, I must have been, it must have been uh, somebody else that was staying at it. It must have been Zach. Zach. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of people all in one <laughs> bed together, so. Yeah. I mean, Zach did well the next day, so. Right. But Zach, no, Zach was there for Despite real. Despite all the coughing. Yeah, he huh. was in the house, too. So where did he sleep? He slept with Marley. No, he, he slept in the family room. <laughs> at, the, at the foot of the bed. Right. Like a cat. <laughs> Like he dog. stayed up all night uh training for the next day yeah he slept in the he got the big bed okay he was like superior you know so right. uh, okay yeah he uh he slept told in marley's marley, bed while marley Mar- he told marley the like hey man i'm gonna need a big bed i got shit to do <laughs> yeah, <I gotta laughs> Can rub my feet too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right well that sounds interesting uh i wish i could have stayed with you guys and uh participated but uh uh marley won't let me yeah uh, invite uh, yeah yeah, yeah maybe uh, next time yeah maybe uh we'll see uh once uh we all get vaccinated but um kind of tell me about the uh theme of lotus like do you do lotus position like what is what is it about lotus that made you want to call the company that and like make the overall brand that um you know I wish that there was a specific s- story of me having like a Lotus flower growing up, but I was really just looking for different names. Um, I'm a, I'm a marketing brand guy, you know? So and not to say that Lotus was just manufactured to like 
be like the the best selling thing, but it was like something that uh, the name I wanted the name to stick. You know, like I didn't want it to be like if I, if I were to go, you know, there's a scale of like something very personal, like Turner Kandama, and there was a scale of like something super attractive. You know, like what you would say, like a uh, Coke or something. I don't know. Um, Lotus, I feel is like. Five, five it, it is in the middle where like you know i, I think lo when you think of lotus flowers you think of like nature peace um all that stuff and that has a lot to do with uh kendama how it comes from it's just like a very organic wholesome toy um but then lotus it's just uh i think it's a good name i i think I, at least for lotus's first shape uh i definitely went for an all-around dama you know and, and i think that's i think that's what we achieved I think that it's it's good for everything. There's, I mean, when it comes to weights, Serato weights, uh, that varies and that gives you a better lunars, better slingers. But um, I went for, you know, a Dama that you can do every trick with and uh, is, is pretty honed with every trick. Right, right. And so what's the feedback you get from the team with that? I mean, do you look for them for feedback or do you not care at all what they have to say? <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely care um, what they have to say and I care what, the community has to say, mm. um, I think the fee feedback's like the best way you can improve, you know, cause it's just, I have one brain and if I can get like a hundred brains on the best side, it's just going to be two the heads best. are better than one, man. I mean, I, yeah, I agree. Exactly. That's why we have Tony here too, uh, because he needed help. And I said, all right, I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I was <laughs> walking around with a helmet on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now he has headphones to keep his, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's cause the uh, loud noises affect him. So uh, his headphones are off actually, and he can barely hear us. He reads lips cause I think he's deaf too. Yeah, but, very uh, sensitive. <laughs> but cool. No, I mean, yeah, I agree. I mean, feedback's everything kind of in a community that's like so fast to be harsh on yeah. any, any mistake or any kind of, um, you know, thing they don't deem of quality, you know, they're yeah. uh, quick to call it all out. But uh, yeah. yeah, man, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I like where shapes are going. Uh, we've talked about shapes a lot on the, on this show. And, and you know, of course, I've, I've reviewed Kendamas and going to events and holding so many, seeing so many, playing so many. Uh, I, I say this to Tony a lot. Like, I have big hands and so bigger shapes and bigger cubs. I'm so happy that, like, I'm a yeah. part of the the time that, had those shapes because yeah. there's times where like i look at it now and i look at older shapes and i go how the fuck did i play that thing how did yeah. i lunar on this thing that didn't even have sticky paint the most the worst shape that i or got on or amazon anything. or anything it, yeah it really makes or me wonder string. about the arbitrary like, like limit on the cup size like it it took us i don't know why nobody was ever like can we make these bigger like why aren't these bigger like it, it took that long for somebody to really do that yeah, and I think that was like at first, you know, Kendama was so challenging. Like, like I mean, at yeah. first, like not when I first started, but like, like even before that, I mean, its whole its core is around being challenging. It, and it's, yeah. uh, I don't think anybody, you know, was like, "How can Let's I make, make this easier?" Easier, right? Yeah. Right. It's like anybody oh, other than the Loon attack, right? Dude. yeah yeah right the see, see that's where gimmicks come in that's a whole different thing but 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 for real though it's like uh, that's the thing though that happens with everything it's like somebody looks at something and goes well how can i make th it's not how can i make this easier it's how can you optimize it to make the playing of it the actual experience of it be better and more accessible because it's fun at the real core of it the reason that I like Kendama is just to do tricks, like to do cool tricks to impress people. Like trick shots, like party tricks. Tricks, yeah. And and I did that with the lacrosse stick forever. I would do anything. You um, played lacrosse? I did for a year in, in high school. Did and, you like you know, playing it? No. So are you already kind of used to like <laughs> no. stick cup ball pouch thing? I played every sport, basically. I was a big, uh, I played a lot of sports. I still like playing sports. Um, I didn't like lacrosse because it had like a cup and a ball. It was just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, um, something new, I guess. But did you wear a cup? I, <laughs> they were so uncomfortable, you know, like, so you did. I don't know if I did. I'd always have to get away with it. I think, like, well, what's more know, uncomfortable, wearing a cup or getting hit in the nuts with the lacrosse right, ball? With the fucking pole. 
Dude, oh my gosh. Look, you know how hard the crossballs are? I, oh yeah, they're pretty I, like, heavy, right? People don't people don't know. They are heavy. Yeah, yeah. And you got <laughs> hit in the nuts with one? Despite no, being like a pretty small ball. I got hit in the thigh with one. Dude, mm. in high school, it was like crazy. You we would do it was like you're training in winter, which just sucked. It, it was like freezing. And uh it was in a, a gym and you would shoot on you would shoot on the goal and then you know you would go there's like 50 guys so you'd go circle around the goal back to the oh, line Jesus. so you're going in a circle so it's getting wailed not, yeah if you're in the wrong part of the line you have varsity <laughs> guys i i was like i was always short short growing up i was like 90 pounds for 11 and i swear they would just miss on purpose they would just dude they fling it so hard it's just like flying and you're you were just so trying thin. to get out of the way. It would, it would go like right between oh. you. Yeah, Dude, I can relate to that. Whacked in the thigh. Did you get you? Guys, so you got like, pegged like, with one in the thigh. Yeah. How bad did it hurt? <clears throat> you know, just the the typical dead leg. You can't feel your leg. It's like you just want to like lay down. And have you ever seen Hyalai? No. You know. Oh you, yeah. Hyalai. You know what that is? No. It's like that curved hook thing where they fucking <laughs> yeah. huck the and they fling it at you the, the nuts with the highlight dude highlight's fucking crazy dude in florida that's like a thing here at the dog race track and you can bet on it and all this and there's like this hook Wait, i'm at the dog it. track in, there's, in yeah Sarasota. there's this like like curved sling glove thing that they use and the ball oh, just to like toss around no no to toss no. around he said hell no <laughs> they whip that shit <laughs> like how do you spell it i'm getting like 90 it, miles per hour it's two words j-a-i a-l-a-i i-l-i right now they call it pindaloo <laughs> pindaloo <laughs> oh i've never seen this oh come that's on crazy. that's a uh, people bet on that you can't afford a thing it's like a gambling game it's not like uh who's Floridians will bet team. on anything man it's a well. I mean, there's there's full arenas. Like there's a dog track, right? And then in the same facility, there's you can. Which one do you want to do? Horse racing, dog racing, or high ally today? And there's humans playing this, not like there's, horses. There's there's teams. Play- <laughs> no, there's not horses playing it. But uh, uh, the horses the are too play. busy racing. Yeah. <laughs> With but you dog. but you bet on you can either bet on dogs or you can bet on humans playing. <laughs> right. right yeah. The odds are really hard to determine with the dogs, but it's still a fun time, you know. Highlight is crazy. With What's huh? that? Is it easier to determine odds with highlight with humans? Well, I mean, when the dogs I've are playing highlight, high they're pretty, they're pretty oh, oh, unpredictable. So, yeah, they don't horse around. <laughs> it's hard to say. But so, speaking of highlight, um, why do you do small batches? <laughs> good segue right <laughs> oh, okay. we came to talk about <laughs> yeah cops yeah. today yeah. and we we did right. that Right, right. Yeah. No, really, though. Um, well, speaking uh, of small yeah. things, uh, don't mention. I'm look. I'm. I'm not gonna talk about it or a- anything. <laughs> you're not gonna pull it out. You don't of want me. me to segue with small things. Well, all right. I don't so want I will you. Ask you. Let me ask you this, Ryan. You have? Do you have a, a Lotus Candle? Uh, I have, have the can. I have the uh, Orlando Bloom. Well, it's not the Bloom. The Orlando right? Sacred. Right. The Orlando, Orlando Sacred. Sacred. Right. 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 Is that? But you don't know how. You got how you acquired that one. It must have been sometime before Dom of the Death. It must have been. I don't know how Marley got it. He he didn't buy it. I know that's for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say because I've I have looked into purchasing them in the past. I was interested in getting uh the beach budget model. The the beach one is the Bloom, right? Yeah, that's the Bloom. Yeah. Yeah, I like those. They're cool. And I checked the site, but they were sold out. I think the sacred's still in. His damas are always sold out. Why, why is They're that? Like, okay, is it because the the like is Lotus such a small company that you can't make big batches, or you only are they like, just super just fired for sales? <laughs> well, well, yeah, that too. Or or just like, is it like okay, we're such a small company in order for us to make revenue compared to the rest, it only can be a batch of fifty. Small batch, sort of. Like- yeah. So what is that? Yeah. Well, I thought you never ask. Um, so <laughs> we, we Lotus, I don't do it on purpose. It's not like, um, keeping it exclusive. It's literally just growing organically. Like what you, what you kind of thought, like my batches are getting bigger. Um, and they'll continue getting bigger, but 
uh, yeah, there, there's nothing like, it's not like I, you know, want to stay sold out because it looks cool and it's a good marketing thing. I think it probably that's is, but that's not the reason. Yeah. That's not, that's not like why we do it. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that answers it. It's just like growing organically. Um, sacreds are, uh, blooms, like they sold out really quickly th- this whole year. Um, and then at twenty dollars, it's like probably a lot of people are just like, "Fuck it, I'll buy that." And then yeah, for sure. Second guess it. It's well, that's cool. the thing. I think are you trying to tackle like a uh uh like what corner of the market are you like after? You're after like the low end but high quality thing or what? Yeah, no, I'm after. I'm not after anything, but I I like to market to every Konami player and every new new player who or every person that hasn't played Konami yet. Um, I'm not I'm not targeting a specific player or uh or a piece of the market it's it's really just making kendamas that are good to play and that look cool yeah no Fair i mean enough. i can't i can't uh, fault you for that i mean i appreciate that i think your damas look cool i think tony yeah. would you let me, let, let's kind of uh assess his design you've seen his kendamas right yeah sure and uh between the sacred and the bloom which one is your favorite um, you, you know, I actually like the design on the bloom a lot. It's interesting mm-hmm. because it's like, not only is it small batches, but it's also like minimal colors, minimal design. Yeah, yeah they're pretty minimal. Minimal, stuff. even like you did the half split with the blooms, right? Yeah. And, and so it, it's all kind of, you, uh, you know, not, nothing, no, there's nothing bad with this, but it's almost like an ABC one, two, three kind of thing. Uh, is that on purpose or? No, that's, that's just me. Like, that's how. That's where um, the reflection of white Lotus t-shirt comes, on. Fr- comes from me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I have a bunch of like just simple colors, but that's just like the way that I am. Are, so you're just like a simple guy. Do you do you practice Minimalistic. minimalism? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like if I get a new shirt, uh, I'll throw like an old shirt out. Really? You know? Yeah. Well, you mentioned you don't have a collection of damas either. No, I, I gave them all away. So like I have yeah. like, you know, my three or four that I play, um, and then. If I really just don't want to play it, I'll just like bring it with me when I sesh and then I'll, I'll give it away. And then, um, you know, I, I, cause I played for a while before Lotus. So I had a bunch of damas that at some point, uh, as anyone does cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I like minimalism a lot. Okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You can still be an entrepreneur and be minimalist. Uh, yeah. And you like know. my Instagram too, you know, it's, there's like six posts, like very, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, not, so super, do you, not very busy. You like delete yeah. and archive other Lotus posts as new stuff comes out or. Yeah. Yeah. Basically just like what's relevant. Like, you know, I don't, I don't oh, yeah, the actual Lotus either. page. Yeah. 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 Like I, I just have, I just, the profile is, is it does its purpose and then it, it doesn't do anymore. You know, like I will say for Lotus, <clears> I think. I think now talking to you more, Isaac, over this and everything you've done with Dama to the Death and learning about your company, playing your Kendama, even your team, it's like uh, uh, I, I can appreciate, and I, I genuinely mean this, like how you, you want very little out of this. Yeah. Where most yeah, people I, who, want, who start companies and, you know, aside from a few other people we've talked to, but... Like Johnny but, from Serial. Yeah, who, exactly. Who right, not, right. Not it's really kind of, looking to... Right, and I understood that because he's from Singapore, but to talk to somebody like Isaac, it's like, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's unique to hear because it sounds like you want so little out of it, but like it gives you so much. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that, you know, one thing about cleaning up your, your closet, uh, it, when you throw something away... Um, you, you have more room in your emotional space and in your mental space. Like, it's not just that you're, you're getting, you're like throwing it away and, and it's still in your brain. Like that also leaves your, your space. So you throw um, out like mind space too? Do I do mind space or I throw out mind space? Right. Like you, like you, you compartmentalize your mind you're, and throw out old stuff. And so you no, have I think my, mind, stuff? my mind's pretty crazy, I think. Um, right. But everything around me is is as mm-hmm. organized as I can get it. Um, I'm a very organized person, for sure. Um, well, yeah, like like Ryan mentioned, I feel like just from talking to you for a bit, it, I feel like it does give me a lot of insight into, like, you said you're not really looking to corner any particular 
uh, yeah. part of the market or anything, but I feel like I, I have a much better understanding of, of your brand and, and sort of the logic. These are Kendama it. players. That That's a thing. I, you understand why he plays Kendama though? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like a, it's he's addicted a, to it. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I tried it once to put it down, but no, really. I think, <laughs> no, I, I, I think like uh, you know, you just being kind of like a, a like like I'm a pretty simple person. You know, Tony's yeah. pretty simple when you come down to it. Not that that's a bad thing. You know, it's like we have our Call few things. No, no, no. We have like five interesting things where most people have 20 things that they want you to think they're actually interesting with, but they're really not. You know what I mean? And so I feel like like even like Isaac and you are very like simple about like what you want, what you want to yeah. do, what you're trying to say, uh, what your favorite color is, you know, like <laughs> you can actually tell me what it is where I talk to so many people and uh, everywhere. And it's, it's, it's always, you know, somebody's ego or somebody's that, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm kind of still very much that way too, but, yeah. but you know, I, I totally get you with how uh, like uh, uh, you can think about even Josh Grove is Josh Grove being a, uh, a, a pro player. Like he comes from that kind of like uh, peace of mind mentality for Kendama of how it can be peaceful to somebody and uh, yeah. there's so many Kendama players like that. And I think Lotus yeah. kind of has that vibe to it, that feel to it. That, well, like you uh, said, gaining more out of it than like not really looking to, to gain anything from it, but still. And Lotus is yeah. a great gaining name too. Just... I, I will say like for that brand name and then what you did with the Tamas and how you keep the minimalistic vibe over the yeah. overall presence of it, even with the website, you know, uh, it all, everything's very intentional. Yeah. Yeah. It correlates. You gotta go add, uh, Luke Ford onto the, uh, yeah, onto the website. website yeah. Yeah. No, that's I too do. much. That bugs me. No, no, no. That's too much now. It's minimal. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't don't yeah, put anybody don't on the rest of the players. You should delete, off more, brand. delete more pages off of the website. Actually. Yeah. It should, it should just You're going to have to go break the news to Luke that he's <laughs> off the team because you don't want to change the website. Yeah. No, I, I visited him in Washington and I took a picture for the website. So he knows uh, okay. that I'm not All doing right. it for this. I just have to do it. Plugging. Well, on the website it says uh, restock November yeah. of yeah. When's I the mean, next this month, right? What's the next uh, restock? Uh, beginning of December. What's Late different? November. What's new? What do you got coming out? Blooms are coming out. Um, surprise with them. That's all I'm gonna say. And then finally, a new design. I've been working on it for a while. Uh, it's coming out in December too. New design. Yeah. Is that like overall Ken design, like new Ken shape? No, or no, just Tama the design? same shape, just a different Tama. Okay. okay. So how long are you going to stick with the same shape? Um, you know, I thought about, I have a, a new idea, like already ready to go. Um, when I, you know, feel that I, it needs up, like when the, you know, I guess I'll just feel it out basically like, okay, it's time, it's time right now, but right. Um, I don't, I'm not going to be too quick with it. Like I, I really like this shape. Um, and more importantly, like the people who play it seem to really like it. Um, you know, I, I basically judge when I get a new shape, I'm going to judge that off how many people are talking to me and what people are saying, how I feel about it. Um, and then it's like, okay, I think it's time, but, uh, sacred shape isn't going anywhere, you know? Um, so you're not going to get rid of it. Well, he's day. one of the companies, Tony, that's like coming on to the new like big cup design. You know what I mean? So like I have heard there's some of the bigger cups in the. In the yeah. Game. And so, yeah. Isaac, you never really had a chance to like have a smaller cup to Kendama, right? No, my first my first Dama was uh, I made it as big as, as you can get it. You know, we're all restrained by the box like right now. If you go over the box, it's fine, but you can't. Uh, what do you mean you were restrained? Well, I think every Kendama company, it's there's a Loken box. And if you want to yeah. make a, a, a Kendama that you can compete with, which a lot of people are going to play Kendamas that they can compete with, they are restrained by the Glocan box. Um, my Serato is one millimeter less, I think, two millimeters less than, than the width of the Glocan box. Um, and my base cup just squeezes in there. So... You know, I, uh, that was like the really like good idea that I had 
I, I really wanted to make, you know, like with, with big hands, like I want to make a big Dama. Um, but every, you know, every company like is restrained by the um, Glocon box if they want to make a Kendama that is competition approved. Do you think that'll change in the future with how people are making uh, bigger Kens and Ken shapes? Like, will the Glocon uh, box I don't think change? So. I, think, I think we're going to see a, um, a shift where instead of who can make it bigger... You'll see a Kendama a, a shift inside the box and that'll decide. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, okay. No, I, what do you, what do you mean? Like a shift in design where... Oh, okay. Um, instead of who can make it bigger, it's going to be who can make it better. Where are you, what do you guys plan on taking this? Is this going to be a Joe Rogan thing? Long podcasts? No, I'm against long podcasts. I, I try to keep them as short as possible. All this will be cut down to like five minutes, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I really do love Lotus. And I think it's Thank definitely you. a different angle. I think there's a lot there. I think that was something Kendama was asking for. I get that a lot of like <laughs> people saying Kendama didn't ask for this. And I go, all right. But but I think this is something that you, something that you have is is definitely the opposite. And um, I really mean that. And uh, I'm happy that I have one of your damas on my shelf. I appreciate I'll be sure it. to grab one in December. Isaac Turner, Lotus Kendamas. Go to lotuskendamas.com. Visit their Instagram page. Go to their uh, Yahoo page. There's a lot more YouTube. content anywhere there. Oh, YouTube. I, I said Yahoo. Uh, I guess that's about it. Yeah, Thanks, Isaac guys. Turner. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Good talking bro. to you, Tony. Um, yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Can't wait to see you guys as soon as possible. No, for real, though. I hope that I can see you wherever you are or um, we do another event here in Florida. And yeah. I can see everybody. I miss everybody, to be honest. Yeah. I really do. And I, I'm sure you can imagine. So, um, yeah. Isaac, I appreciate it. Good luck with everything with Lotus. And then, Tony, um, I don't know what I want to do with you, man. I, <laughs> I don't even know if it's even worth saying goodbye to you. Is I'll it? Be, I'll be back, man. You'll I'll be right back. I'll be sitting in this exact chair. I, that's the thing. You I wanted, me to do, do you ever podcast. leave where you I feel like you just like stop the show and then just sit back? Yeah, I just shut my eyes and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets reactivated when the zoom right. opens. <laughs> He's only like one half. He has no legs or anything. It's just yeah. like a bot. <laughs> I'm just connected to the Wi-Fi. And as soon as I get that notification. <laughs> right. As soon as he gets the, the Zoom invite, it activates <laughs> his headphones turn blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace. Talks Peace. 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 Peace.